mixing weird fishes. Um, I'm going to go over the session setup, some of the settings, and here we go. So, weird fishes, last name. Bit depth, 24, sample rate, 48. That's what these files were recorded at. We don't want to convert. So, make a session. I'm going to go file import audio. I actually want to talk a little bit about naming. So again, this is the goal here is that you have been giving, given multi-tracks to mix. Um, I actually went through, so if you know, so something about Pro Tools is that stereo tracks are handled as two mono audio files, a left and a right. That's kind of true stereo. Um, so when a stereo track is given or the audio files that make up a stereo track are named, they are given a dot L dot R um, suffix. So I had all these different tracks named Uh, the backup files, the I should say the backup vocals, because I pan, uh, there are two vocals per part. So the backup high vocal, there's a left, there's a right. These um, file names made Pro Tools import them as stereo tracks. And I didn't want that. I'll explain why in a minute. But that is just the explanation, essentially, as to why I have gone through and I renamed the audio files R-1, L-1, which essentially tricked it into not loading them up as stereo tracks. So hit copy. Why don't I want them as stereo tracks? Um, well, they were not recorded or performed perfectly in terms of their level matching, their volume. So while I love having the idea of control, or I love having control over one volume fader controlling both vocals, uh, I need to be able to level adjust. Now, there's other ways that this could be done. I could go into clip gain and raise the clip gain of one side, but it's just difficult. So having them as individual tracks and then organizing them later, um, either as a group or within a routing folder, seemed the best idea. So now we're going to get mono files for everything except for the keys. The guitar guitars the fake guitars because they actually kind of come out you can actually hear uh, different left and right and because these are virtual instruments there that's the levels that we want um, okay so that is our session setup and why we have such weirdly named tracks